Today we'll be going over how to do this cartoon animation very easily here in Final Cut Pro. Here on the screen is our website www.b3-studios.com where we have plenty of Final Cut Pro plugins. Some are free and some you have to pay for, but all in all, they will help you in your everyday workflow in Final Cut Pro. So make sure you guys go visit the site. There will be plugins for you that you will like, I guarantee you. Now let's get right into the video for today. Okay, so we have our clip here and this is just flowing water. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna create a cartoon animation very easily. And we're gonna start off by duplicating this clip. So we're going to click on the clip, hold option and drag up to create a duplicate. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to our effects panel and we're gonna go to mask and king right here. And we're gonna click on our draw mask and we are just gonna drag our draw mask right on top of our top clip. You can see these kind of lines that you can kind of mask over on this grass and around these tree areas. Um, you, we could either go along here, along this line, excuse me, or we can go, go along this line. It doesn't matter, um, just pick a line and just try to use that. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So let me just mask that. I'm gonna do this line right here. Just try to do it as best as you can with as much accuracy as you can. I'm gonna go on the outside of everything and reconnect right here. Okay, so now once we have our mask, we can zoom back in and we're gonna take our bottom clip, the clip that we did not mask, and we're gonna make a copy of that again. So we're gonna hold option and drag up and put this all the way on top. So the mask clip should be in the middle and the copy of our bottom clip should be on the top now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press V to disable the top clip. And we are just going to add um, some comic looks to this. So we're gonna go to our effects tab and go to comic looks. And we have different options here. We can go comic sepia, comic vintage, comic basic. It's really up to you guys. Um, I'm probably gonna go with comic basic. So I'm gonna put that on our middle clip. And I'm actually gonna do two of these to kind of exaggerate this effect. So uh, once you have that, um, you're gonna go to your mask right here and you're gonna just feather it just to make sure that you have a pretty good mask. Um, as you can see, as you play with it, it can go up, you can go down. Just try to make it look as real as possible. Um, and about negative 41 makes it look pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna click on our top clip and press V to undisable it. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a keyframe on the top clip on the opacity. So we're gonna go to this keyframe uh, box right here and we're just gonna press, actually we're gonna make sure our playhead is at the beginning of our timeline. Then we're gonna add our keyframe. And we're gonna go a couple frames in. We can just go a little bit in the timeline and just decrease the opacity to about 23. And let's just play this back and see how this looks so far. Okay, looks okay so far, looks okay so far. We can start making adjustments to our uh, comic look. So we can adjust the ink edges if we want, the ink fill. And we can even add, I will leave this in the link in the description to make this look even better, the glint light effect.
to give it a little glow like this. And you can also make adjustments how bright you want it, how dim you want it, the intensity. And now we can play this back one more time. It's a pretty cool effect right there. We have half of the screen cartoon and half of the screen actual real life. Um, so this can really make an impact on the viewer and keep the viewer engaged. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If this video helped you out in any way, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And again, we will be coming out with a lot more content to help you guys out. Um, again, visit the website www.b3-studios.com where we have plenty of plugins, some free and some you have to pay for, but just go check out the site. Okay, guys, I will see you guys soon and have a blessed day. Thank you, guys.